besties welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Shavi and thank you so much for tuning in and if you are a returning subscriber I really appreciate you guys too thanks for your continuous loyalty and support on this journey if you read the title of this video you know that I am going to be sharing my maintenance routine on how I keep up my silk press on my natural hair I am a straight natural and in my my very recent video where I share my wash day routine as well as my silk press routine I have so many comments asking about specific details and things that I do to keep my silk press looking good to keep it frizz free and just to make it last as long as possible so today I am telling you guys share with you guys what I do to maintain this silk press for at least two weeks three weeks max I mean it can even go to a month but I typically maintain my silk press for two to three weeks so my routine is fairly simple because I am a straight hair natural my routine is very low maintenance my hair is very low maintenance um, and that's one thing that I really love about being a straight hair natural transitioning from where my natural curls which I did for years and years and if you like to know the story behind my natural hair journey then go and check out my wash day routine because I get into a little bit more detail there but it's been so refreshing and freeing to just literally cut my products and my process and my maintenance process down like by freaking 75% if I could put a percentage on it but I want to show you guys what I do okay so first things first that I have to do is the absolute priority I cannot skip it is tying up my hair wrapping my hair and tying up my hair every single night honestly I think it's just ingrained in me because since I was a little black girl like my head does not touch the pillow at night until my hair is wrapped so I use my silk scarf I have it here and I wrap my hair you know I think most of us have experience wrapping our hair it's really one of those things that you have to practice so I just take a, a comb this is a comb that I'm using um, the teeth are kind of small and I'm literally just going to wrap my hair around my head I will bring this side of my hair around to the front My hair is cut in a bob, so the back is much shorter. So I try to bring as much of my hair around to the front. As I possibly can. Some of those pieces in the back are just too short and they're just not gonna really wrap very well. But I just make sure that my hair, as much of it is wrapped around and and it's detangled of course I do that kind of keep my head like this to keep it in place and then I have my scarf here I fold it into a, in half into a triangle and then I will start on the side and what I'm gonna do to kind of sweep all my hair in that wrapping motion or that same direction is I catch it all underneath and then I just literally twist a scarf around my head and I'm like catching all of the hair in the back and I'm twisting it around my head like that to help make sure that it's getting flattened out and all of my hair is going in one direction. Make sure that you tuck every little piece of hair in because I hate that when I like leave some hair out. Uh oh. Let's do it one more time. Wrap it around. Bring the tail ends around the front. Bring this piece. I'll tuck it. And then I'll tie it. That little piece is so stubborn. I'll just come back and tuck it in. And that is how I wrap. That's how I wrap my short bob, my bob hair. 
look, trust me, it's taken a lot of practice to get to this point. <laughs> uh, that may have looked a little easier than it actually is. So you just gotta practice. I've had my hair straightened right now at this point for a week. I pressed it um, last Friday, and today's Thursday. So it's almost a week. And um, that first week, I don't apply any products. Like I just wrap my hair at night. My scalp produces natural oils that helps kind of like you know, moisturize my hair a little bit. And through my wash day routine is where I get my moisture so I don't have to apply heavy products or heavy moisturizers to my hair. I don't really struggle with uh, dry scalp or dandruff or anything like that. My hair, my scalp is fairly healthy so I don't have to put much product on it. However, you know, if I'm like two weeks in, if I'm starting to get a little frizzy, a little bit of flyaways, you know, a little fuzzy here, then I will go in with the Olaplex Bonding Oil. This is number seven. And I will put like literally like three drops because you don't need a lot of this stuff. And I will, you know, smooth it over all of my hair, mostly focusing on the ends to just kind of smooth out any frizziness, any flyaways or anything like that, just to tame it a little bit. But I don't have to do that often. Like I said, I, I don't use this daily. I use it on those occasions where I need a little bit extra taming or a little bit of oil or moisture because I'm stretching this silk press. Because I'm a straight hair natural, I am not fearful of heat. So, you know, I will go in maybe like on the weekends and put some curls in my hair. I will apply some more heat at like 375. So I'll do that just to apply curls if I want a specific look. And um, I may do that like once, maybe twice a week. But otherwise, my hair just does its own thing. Then, you know, in the mornings when I wake up and I take my scarf off, you see it's all wrapped. See how that looks? And I really kind of will just run my fingers through my hair. Like so. And put my part back. Gotta put my part in the right spot because of my cut. And when I wrap my hair, it really just holds any type of like curl that I may have had as well which is a really great thing about wrapping my hair but literally my process is super duper simple as far as humidity you have to avoid it you gotta avoid the humidity i know some of us may live in the south or in places that are very humid i live in california so there's not too much humidity so i don't have to deal with it so much but if you do have to deal with humidity i would highly suggest in those times where you know you can wear some type of covering on your head like a scarf or a hat or you can pull your hair all the way back into a bun do that as well as hot showers <laughs> try not to keep, get them really steamy because of course if you start sweating then your roots are just gonna puff up if you do experience some you know sweating or or humidity or frizziness one thing that always helps me personally is just wrapping my hair and tying it down again like that is just like a absolute requirement to maintain your silk press. I know a lot of us like to use silk pillowcases as well, which are great. I just never really got into it because I, once again, I grew up getting my hair wrapped up as a little girl. So it just feels weird to me if I don't wrap my hair at night. Like I literally don't get the best quality sleep if my head is not wrapped. I think it's like a subconscious thing because I've always done it. Silk pillowcases are fine too, um, but if you want to keep your hair flat but maintain the body without the frizziness, then I strongly suggest you wrap your hair. You gotta wrap your hair. But if you have any further questions or would like me to elaborate on anything, even as simple as this, then please drop those comments down below let me know as well if you guys have any other ideas or would like to see me create any other specific hair content, uh, natural hair content, or if you would like to see me like style my natural hair, put some curls in it, and all of that. But yeah, it's super simple. It doesn't require much, very low maintenance, 
uh, having straight natural hair for me at least if you watched all the way to the end of this video I just want to thank you for tuning in if you aren't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel like this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and thank you for just being here with me uh, but otherwise I will see you guys later bye besties